Hello guys, welcome to Sigma Tech. Today we have a Toshiba board which has a neck token here. It's a old board. The problem in this board is it is shorted. As soon as we plug the DC jack, it is shorting. That means the reverse current. Let me show you and on this board I'll show you how to find short in a easiest way in a different way. So stay tuned. So here DC is at 19 volts and we'll plug the charger now you can see the DC what's happened it is jumping that means the board is short okay we are not sure which part of the board is short so I will show you how to find out how to find out shortings if you get old boards I found out a new method let's try it so guys first thing first what we need to do is remove the processor other things whatever uh, is there on the board and then just do the cold testing which part of the area is beeping so here is the jack this is the 19 volts area now we will measure it no beep value on the CLR value coil value this is beeping but other side no beep so this is okay okay here the capacitor one capacitor is beeping the capacitors are beeping this area okay so the other side this side no beep no beep no beep on the coil and major parts we are not getting any beeps but on the smaller capacitor we are getting beep no beeps on the MOSFETs as well here on these MOSFETs no beep so we are getting beep so guys what you need to do is just keep the DC on 2 volts and as I showed you earlier just connect this one the ground one and I have soldered this pin to the main wire now I will keep the DC at 2 volt just keep the DC at 2 volt and now you can touch the component whichever side you feel doubtful suppose if it is if your wire and this part is heating and if you are not able to get the um, shot then just change the location instead of soldering so here it is beeping let me see once so this side both sides are beeping Here we are getting value and this side there is no value. We will touch with this pin this side because this side is completely zero that means this could be ground. So we will start from this side. Suppose if this doesn't work we will switch the place. So in this way we don't have to solder it. Just take it and connect it. It is taking 1.32 amp. Let's see if anything is hitting. One point four amp. Nothing hits up. Now let me turn it. We can hold it and turn it. this side this here it is eating so here these are two caps here which are heating let me zoom it so 
so these are the two caps which are heating maybe one of the cap is faulty let me remove it and test it let me show you guys first whether it is shorted or not yes you can see here it is shorted now let's remove one by one and see it now remove one cap and measure it So you can see the value has come. There was only one cap which was short. Now the value is coming. So now whether we can put this capacitor, same capacitor here or you can leave it. We will leave it and we will test it. Hopefully the short has gone from all the places. Now let's give a try. Let's give a check. Yeah, we are getting the value, no beep here. Earlier we were getting the beep here. Okay, now let's test it. So guys, here we will inject the voltage. We need to increase the voltage. 19 volts now no shorting now let's connect the power button and check You can see guys the light is glowing now let's play the press the power button yeah the laptop is turned on fan is spinning and you can see the display also has come so guys this is how you can remove the shot in minutes thanks for watching have a nice day please subscribe my channel